Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant and entrepreneur, and in this productivity video, we're gonna be going through how to master time blocking. So make sure you check out the links in the description to the Aspire Notebook where you can download everything that I'll be talking about in this video for free. So what we're going to do is actually take a step back and I wanna reveal the number one mistake that people make when it comes to time blocking and the biggest roadblock you're probably hitting when it comes to mastering time blocking. Now, if you're not familiar, time blocking is simply strategically planning your day and giving yourself enough time to focus on what's most important. Now, the big trap most people fall into with time blocking is they look at their current projects or what's urgent or their task list, and then they jump right into, okay, well, I'm gonna do this first, then this, then this, and it winds up just being a glorified project plan for your month or week. Number one key to success with time blocking is making sure that you're not just focused on what's urgent or what's right in front of you, but you're focused on what's gonna produce your long-term success. And this is step number one to mastering time blocking is actually setting your goals and having very clear goals. I know it seems like it's coming out of left field here. Like, what do you mean goals? I thought this was about time blocking, but you can't properly allocate your most precious asset, aka your time, if you don't know exactly where you're pushing your business. So you can go ahead and check out this free Excel sheet in the Aspire Notebook, and it's broken up by the four business quadrants. I'll get to that in a second, but essentially what I want to quickly do is show you all the way over here is a someday goal. Now, chances are you're building your business, you're working on your freelancing career or digital agency, you have some sort of picture in your mind of how much money you wanna be making, how many clients you wanna have, what your team looks like, what kind of products and services are you offering? This is where you put that in. This is the sheet where you go through and say, you know what, in five or six years, I wanna have this level of income. In five or six years, I wanna have this many videos posted, or I wanna have this type of product or this type of service. And when you go through this, this allows you to have a clear picture of where you're going. Now, very quickly, the four business quadrants team is all about the people you need on your team in order to be successful. Content is your content marketing strategy. Sales funnel is all about lead generation and your sales process. And finally, product is the product or services that you're actually offering. And so what you want to do is go through and make a concrete plan and goal for each one of these. So when I say plan, I mean, if you could only do one thing to reach your someday goal for each one of these, what would it be? So you don't have to do why or how or all that fun stuff. You just need to look at what are the actions I need to take in order to be successful with my goals. And looking at this Excel sheet, you'll notice that we start at someday and then we go a five-year goal, a one-year goal, a monthly goal, a weekly goal, and then finally a daily goal. So once we've gotten all the way down to a daily goal, just for example, like let's say a daily goal for me is one YouTube video. So one YouTube video, right? And then maybe my someday goal is to have, I don't know, 100,000, 100K subs, right? So I'm gonna say I want 100K subs, so what's my five-year goal? Probably need 50K, right? I need to be at least halfway. And then my one-year goal, where we break it down, I need to be at 20K, maybe for my one-year goal to, to, reach, to reach that goal. Then my monthly goal, now we switch into what are the actions I have to take. So my monthly goal, I should probably post, I don't know, 30 videos. Let's just, let's just be really aggressive. So 30 videos a month, that would be seven videos a week or one video a day. And once you've done this exercise, it's ready for the most important part to mastering time blocking, and that is choosing one. You wanna choose one quadrant that you're going to focus on. What's the one thing that's going to be vital to making sure that you reach your someday goal? Now you'll notice here on the side, I have A1, A2, B1, B2. So you, for me, YouTube is my one thing. So my one thing is gonna be at least posting one video a day. This is how I know exactly what I should be working on. And now that we've chosen it, it's time to schedule it. So I want you to look at your calendar and ask yourself this one question. Where in my day can I commit to doing this one thing that I know is very important for at least one hour? And you want it to be at the same time every day. Time blocking isn't about making sure you just space out six hours on the weekends to produce the results that you want. This is something that has to be done every single day. It needs to become ingrained in who you are and your habits. You need to train everyone else in your life, your family, your friends, your business partners, your coworkers, your clients, that this is the one hour and it'll eventually get to two or three hours, but this is the one hour that I'm starting with to master time blocking and I say, I'm working on this one thing that's more important than anything else. This isn't about allowing things that are urgent or are due tomorrow to get in the way of this one thing. So this is really the key to mastering time blocking. 
is making sure that you're allocating your time to something that's actually going to bring you to your someday goal. Otherwise, you run the risk of having the urgent and unimportant things continue to take over your schedule and you never actually wind up pushing your business forward because you get stuck on the hamster wheel of just putting out fire after fire after fire. So once you've decided what that one hour or two hours is going to be for each day, your next step is to fill out the rest of your day with your time block. Schedule exactly when you want to do things. Even if it's tentative, even if you're not sure, at least go into every single week, having the entire week's work hours planned out so you know what your plan is going into the week and you know there's that one or two hour time block that will never change no matter how crazy things get you commit to at least that one hour, everything else is flexible. And step number five is the most important part is to measure it, right? So we've chosen it, we've scheduled it, now it's time to measure it. As you go through your week, you wanna change your time blocks to reflect how the week actually went. And if you didn't actually stay committed to that one or two hour time block that you committed to, it should show up at the end so you can see at the end of the week how you actually spent your time and if you were able to commit to that one hour. There are a lot of things you could commit to, but really with mastering time blocking, you just need to commit to the one. You just need to get that momentum, get back into that flow and know that even when the day goes completely crazy, when your head hits the pillow, you know you at least did your one hour of the most important thing, the most productive work that's going to push your business or your practice or your agency forward. So that does it for how to master time blocking. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. And if you have more questions or you want to dive deeper into time blocking, there's a complete time blocking playlist in the description. I've done almost seven different videos now on time blocking. And this is arguably one of the most important ones because if you don't have a clear picture of what your goals are and you don't have a clear picture of where you're going, it doesn't matter how you allocate your time right now because you're not going to achieve the results that you're looking for. And mastering time blocking doesn't mean that you have to have these grandiose gestures you have to time block six or seven hours out of your day and somehow magically push everything off it just starts with that one hour and it starts with that one hour of the one thing that's really going to be important to getting you to your someday goal so let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback on this and if you have any additional time blocking strategies to share with the rest of us your experience and insights is going to help other fellow entrepreneurs be more successful and productive in their business so thank you for watching i hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more productivity and time blocking hacks and strategies just like the ones covered in this video. Over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to market yourself and your business online. And of course, being productive with your most precious asset, your time, is just one small piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your digital business. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, keep building the business you love.